Uh, now, here on Breakfast, we've been following the story of Paul Harvey. He's the former music teacher living with dementia who's raised an astonishing amount of money for charity. Yeah, it all started when Paul improvised a song from just four random notes that were given to him by his son, Nick. And after the composition went viral, it was then recorded with the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra. Take a look and a listen. It's brilliant. love that so much it's incredible mm -hmm. uh, and the reason we're talking about it today Paul has just been awarded an OBE in the King's Birthday Honours uh, delighted to say Paul and son Nick are with us this morning um, Paul Harvey OBE how does it feel uh, rather interesting <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep saying OB instead of OBE because it's, <laughs> it, it, it's more interesting that way. Paul Harvey OB. <laughs> <laughs> well, what an amazing thing you've been on, Daddy. Yeah. It, yeah it, 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 it's a great honour. <laughs> And uh, I, I'm rather taken aback by it. Yeah, Paul, and I guess you had no idea when you started on this journey that this is where it would end. Uh, absolutely. That's couldn't have put it better. You know, it's a fairy tale end to an incredible story. It's uh, been such a ride that Dad's been on, um, from four tiny little notes to raising all that money for charity, and and now, and now an OPE. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, and I'm seeing that card above your shoulder, Nick, above your left shoulder, uh, and that really sums it all up, doesn't it? How do you feel this morning that Dad's now OBE? Uh, well, he is my hero. Like I, like I said in the card, I said to Dad, OBE. <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> I am so incredibly proud to be your son. All my love, Nick, and it's true. I, I just, uh, you're my hero. <laughs> Nick, just give us some insight into the process by which you learn about these honours and, and how long you maybe had to hold on to that information to before, before you could share it with other people and how that was for you both. So Dad opened the um, envelope from the Cabinet Office about a month or so ago and I, I was here with him. He got really scared initially that he was going to get evicted. <laughs> <laughs> and, but then, with, within a couple of lines, he realised that he was being um, uh, recommended for an OBE, and he burst into tears. He was so so moved by it, and um, we've had to keep it a secret for the past month or so. And uh, now it's out in the open, and uh, as a family, we couldn't be prouder of him. And, and tell us a little bit about how you've been celebrating. <laughs> well, <laughs> after um, after we opened the uh, envelope. I put a little shot of whiskey in his coffee. <laughs> and he decided to have whiskey in his coffee. And um, 
that, that, that was pretty celebratory. Oh, wasn't yeah, it? absolutely. Really important, that was. <laughs> yeah. Are you a Scotch or an Irish whiskey drinker, or is it bourbon? Which is oh, it, Paul? Scotch. Glenn Fiddick. Lovely, excellent choice. <laughs> um, and let's talk about the music. We listened to a really lovely clip of it there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone will be astonished that that came from just, what, four notes, four simple notes, and from that was born this, this wonderful piece of music. Paul, talk to me about that process of how it worked. How did you get to that music from those four notes? Well, I, I, it's just something that I can do. You know, I've been able to do it a lot, a, a lot of times. It went when I was, you know, in my 21st birthday, I had my piano, but my mum bought, mum and dad bought me the piano, and uh, I, it's just something I was, I could do easily, and I've, I've, I've always been able to do it. You and know, we could, so we could, it, we could see you take great pleasure from playing it. Do you take great pleasure from listening to it as well, with the symphony orchestra backing you? Not always. I, I, I'm always busy. I'm all, always want to. Uh, I'm busy doing another uh, uh, another song now, another piece, and uh, you know sometimes I copy down from a great, a really good film that I've seen, and I, I'm so impressed with how, how they work things out. So I I try and work things out that way. You know, I'm always. You're never too old to learn. You're never too old to get an OBE. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've had an idea there. So I'm going to give you five random notes. No, you're, and, no, you're and not. And two <laughs> years from now, you're going to have knighthood. Knighthood. <laughs> grief. And Nick, so that's, the point, and that's the point in all of this as well, isn't it? There's sort of a serious message. And all this money's been raised for dementia charities, that one and a half million pounds. Yeah. Um, and it's Absolutely. how... The brain still we know very little in the big scheme of things about how it works and you know Paul you're able to hang on to all of your musical skills uh, despite what you're facing and that's how astonishing this is but how complex and why so much more research is still needed. Absolutely I mean what, what I've learned over the past few years is that um, music is the last the mu musical memory is one of the last things to go if you're living with dementia so it's really important to tap into that um the, the right piece of music at the right time can be absolutely transformational for someone living with dementia it, it can bring them back to the here and now and um, uh, and yes a lot of more research needs to be done but but music is so important you ha you have the printed word and when the printed word is finished then music takes over and it can be anything to anybody. I always say that. Mm. It's, uh, it's, the, the printed word is quite limited, but music isn't. It can go take you wherever you want to go. Yeah. Um, and Nick, today's Father's Day, of course, isn't it? Uh, what are you doing with Dad for Father's Day? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe... Maybe I'll reach for the Glen Fiddick oh. <laughs> <laughs> What do you reckon? Oh. Uh, again, that, that's a nice idea. <laughs> well, what I'm it? hoping when I go home, my, my two sons will have uh, will, will have prepared something nice for me. Maybe that maybe they'll give me four. Oh, oh wow! Well. <laughs> Well, whatever you're up to, <laughs> enjoy it. Um, congratulations again, and I'm going to say it again because it sounds amazing. Paul Harvey, OBE, thank you for being with us <laughs> this morning. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. See you later. Just oh, so gorgeous to talk to them both. Thank you so much to Paul and Nick.